this week on Way of the Master. Uh, you know, I said I haven't had the opportunity to go out yet and mm-hmm. to engage with you uh, in front of the clinic, but we did send out one of our film crews, and we want you all to see a day in the life of John Barrows. Good morning, ladies. My name is John. I come down here every day to offer help and hope to people that find themselves behind these doors. We come as the church. Uh, There's pretty much not a day or an hour that somebody from our church is not here on the sidewalk. I tried to find the most beautiful baby picture I've ever seen and it's of uh, little John he was 10 minutes after he was born laying on his mom many many girls have told me that that picture has helped to turn their hearts that God used it to do that the way we look at things down here is we want conversations we want somebody to be sitting on this wall talking to us we try to let them see that Jesus has sent his church down to help them and that it's a a thing of beauty. Please ladies, come out of this place. God is bigger than any situation, any. But please come out of here and let us help you. I love the 180 movie because again, that whole 180 movie is about information and it's about conversation. That's what our goal is here to have. If you can get that conversation, that the opportunity is there for people to uh, turn their hearts. What we do here when ladies arrive is we offer them a brochure put out by Living Waters called In the Womb. This is all I use and it's all I've ever needed down here. It spells everything out in a very short message. And the beauty of this is many girls have sat in that lobby waiting for their abortion and typed in the 180movie.com link. They sit in there and they have watched it with their earbuds on while everything else is going on around them in chosen life and come out of this place. Jakeisha. Are you leaving? Are you going over here? Are you? We'll be praying for you. She's going to choices. She's going to choices. It's a lot nicer meeting you here. <laughs> Is that your ultrasound? Yeah, that's a little big head. The what? A little big head. Man, so she's about so proud five of you. months. What? Five months? Five months? Yeah. 20 weeks. Oh my Thank gosh, you. it's got an answer of prayer. Yeah. We talked about this. Really? Yes. We and we prayed about it at 9 o'clock this morning. Before 9 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I have two kids already. Right. So I was in a hard place. And then what changed my mind is when you said, nothing's too big for God. And that's absolutely right. That is. Um, once they start describing that, you know, you're going to have a stillborn in the toilet. Yep. Nobody yeah, believes me, by the way. That's crazy. It is crazy. I don't think that's right. Well, it's no like way. trash. You treat trash like that. Exactly. You're awesome. I was planning on getting an abortion because we already had two beautiful girls. Pregnancy was not in our plan. And then one day we were just like, let's just ride out there and just, and see what, see what happens. So I was just sitting there just feeling like, oh man, this is just so wrong. But I felt like, should I keep going? Should I stop? I can hear John preaching. Mind you, I'm probably sitting in the lobby to the forest left in the back. Every time the door would open, I could hear him as well. When we walked out, it was just like a relief. My son's name is Ashton Dallas. He is the best baby in the world. I can't believe I ever fathomed, you know, that decision. I have a beautiful, healthy baby boy. God, you know, places his angels in the right places at the right times. And John, you know, is one of those angels. 
and he's at that right place all the time. <laughs> We all were born with a death sentence because we all have Adam's sin. God, who loved his son with a love that we'll never understand, like I said, took his own son and hung him on a cross and poured out his total hatred, wrath, and anger on his own son. But we're told to repent and turn from our sin and turn to him and that he'll save us from our sin. This is a lot. You've had a big, crazy day. Yeah. <laughs> but just think about all these things. And call me if you have any questions. Okay, thank you. Dear Lord, I lift up this precious lady to you. That's that you put your hand of blessing on her life and that you take care of her. Help her to trust you. Help her to turn to you whenever she feels uh, that there's no hope. Lord, that there is nothing too big for you. In Jesus' name, amen. TV and streaming listings available at wayofthemaster.com.